A breakthrough in stem cell research could offer help for hundreds of thousands of people in Britain who suffer from osteoarthritis. For the first time, a patient's stem cells have been used to grow cartilage, which could be used to replace their own damaged tissue. Daniel Birch reports. At this laboratory at the University of Bristol, scientists are growing a type of tissue that in many of us has degraded. It's cartilage. In patients suffering from conditions like osteoarthritis, it's worn down. If it can be recreated in the laboratory, there is the prospect for the future of cartilage transplants. The starting point is stem cells taken from patients themselves, and the researchers think their process is a significant improvement on what's already been achieved. Cartilage has been grown from different kinds of stem cells in different ways. We believe this is the first time really good quality cartilage uh, that's very similar to the, your natural cartilage has been grown in this way. Stem cells have the potential to become a range of different tissue types. There's been much ethical debate about the use of cells from embryos. Here, though, they're using adult cells. If it gets to the transplant stage, they would come from the patient. So how was all this done? Well, the researchers took bone marrow from patients having routine hip replacement surgery. Stem cells were then removed from this and grown into cartilage cells in the laboratory. They were then transferred onto a tiny frame or scaffold made from the same material as dissolving surgical stitches. Eventually that scaffold melts away, leaving the new cartilage tissue. Osteoarthritis is more prevalent among the elderly. It's this form of arthritis that the researchers are looking at and there's little prospect of the technique helping those with rheumatoid arthritis. Even if this process succeeds, it could take more than a decade to develop. I think we should be very encouraged, but not overly excited at the moment. Uh, this is a milestone, but not really a, a breakthrough in treatment for patients with osteoarthritis. Researchers are aware of the risk of raising unrealistic expectations, but they hope this is a significant step forward. Daniel Bircher, BBC News.